But what I'm really interested in is what your views are of the future, of your industry, of the technologies which are here downstairs, and I had the opportunity to look at all the stands yesterday. Um, and uh, what I'm interested in is to provoke uh, uh, some fresh thinking about the future. What do I do? I'm a futurist, and that is to say that I spend a lot of my time not at the center of this screen, but on the outer edge. I spend my time looking at low probability but potentially high impact events that can come crashing into business strategy, whether it's um, the spread of a new mutant virus that's uh, a bit like SARS on the one hand, uh, it could be uh, some operational risk on another. And uh, companies like Google, Microsoft, IBM, all kinds of companies, uh, ExxonMobil, Shell, uh, it doesn't matter whether they're large or small, GlaxoSmithKline, every company in the world uses people like myself to help them to identify new opportunity and to reduce risk. So my question is, where are the new opportunities in what you're doing in terms of building control, uh, uh, temperature control, and all the rest of it, and where are the risks? I believe there are huge opportunities, and uh, I think it's actually very encouraging uh, right now. Uh, you see, uh, you, you can be an airline company and things can happen to you. If your control systems are good, you might escape that, but you might not. If you're DHL, that it can also be a bit of a challenge. But more realistically, uh, all kinds of things happening uh, in a way that leaves corporate real estate companies behind. Many of my companies, many of the companies I work with, uh, have challenges with their real estate. And the problem is, by the time they book uh, a contract uh, to, to grab a piece of land to start building their high-rise for their new multiple, you know, multinational HQ, uh, before the high-rise is even finished, you know what's going to happen, which is they've been merged, they've taken over, relocated, right? Put your hands up if you work with a client where something uh, major has happened to that particular business in the period of time that you were working on that building. Put your hands up. Um, and this is happening more and more. As, and actually, real estate is a really big challenge because you're dealing with a 10, 20, 30 year, 40 year view of a world uh, which is changing every three to six months. Um, and we'll see some areas uh, of particular uncertainty in a moment. But you know, I was um, talking of real estate. Uh, the web makes us really impatient, especially when we're using buildings. I was staying in New York the other day uh, in a hotel with 4,322 stories and only a couple of lifts, and only one was working. And I was late that morning. And uh, I arrived, and there was 12 people. I was on the 4,000th floor trying to get to the, where I was supposed to be speaking. And uh, the, the, I could see that you know, the 12 of us waiting there, the, the lift light is illuminated. And at that moment... For a moment, I was tempted to do something totally crazy and irrational. I confess to you that I was actually tempted to go and press that lift button more than once. Okay. All right, confession time. Who here? I know, I know that you would never do such a crazy thing, but who here has actually been tempted? You, you, like me, have been tempted. I mean, you've been tempted to just go near that lift button more than once and press it. Okay, who's actually done it? I did it. I, I pressed that lift button 10, 12 times. Listen, I mean... What a crazy thing! I, what was I thinking of? Can I control electronics better than Bill Gates? Even Bill Gates cannot summon from Almighty God a lift which goes in faster the more you press the button. Um, actually, I was uh, talking to 850 airline pilots and I, I, uh, I showed them this slide and uh, I asked them the same question and they all put their hands up and they roared with laughter at each other. And I'm really interested in airline pilots because up to four, four times a week I'm in a different country. Uh, that's because we have such tiny little countries in Europe, of course. You only fly for two minutes, and you've gone through three, three different national zones. But the fact of the matter is, I asked, I asked them this question. I said, I'm interested in airline pilots. Put your hands up if you talk to the lift. Come on, baby, you can come. They all put their hands up again. This is the honest truth. Well, I was then really concerned. So I then had to ask another question. I said, please, just tell me. How many of you talk to your planes when you come into land? They all do. They all put their hands up. They all talk to their planes. They talk to their lifts. We press the lift buttons. We're all crazy. And if you remember nothing about the future, remember this, that the future is about craziness. It's about emotion. That we all behave irrationally when we're under pressure, as you have shown me. And your clients behave irrationally under pressure. When you give them systems and controls and all kinds of things which make perfect, logical, rational sense to you, they won't buy. Why? Because they don't behave rationally under pressure. They take a short-term view, they won't see the long-term view, and we have to work with the emotions of people. And the emotional climate 
is changing. That's why we don't believe market research. I mean, what a crazy idea. Market research cannot tell you the future of your industry. You think it can? Why? Because emotions keep changing. People keep changing their minds. You can ask them what they think they'll want out of this building in five years' time, but they frankly have no idea. You know because you're in the business of designing buildings. You know because you're futurists. Your job is to think future. You're always thinking about uh, how that building will be used and what they're going to do, what happens if they move those partitions. Is the ventilation system still going to work? You know how many times people are going to play around and tamper with the layout of that high-rise office block and how many times you're going to need to go back and rebalance it and all the rest of it. They haven't the faintest clue. So we need to go ahead of market research and think about longer-term trends that perhaps our own clients are unaware of. I'm going to show you an example of how market research got things spectacularly wrong. Some of you may have seen this video. Actually, in my country, hardly anybody has because this particular advertisement has been banned. In the UK, uh, this advertisement aimed at a particular audience uh, uh, selling a particular product. It scored 100% for market research uh, uh, when every audience showing. But when it was shown on TV in the UK, there was a massive emotional reaction. The question is, why?